Stay tuned and let's take a look at this Spider-Man retro series, Daredevil. Hello and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at It's Dan Who. Today we continue to take a look at this Spider-Man vintage retro series. And in front of me we have Daredevil or the Armored Daredevil. Now this is referred to as the 90s Daredevil because it is from the Fall From Grace storyline back in 93 and it only lasted about 20 so issues as it wasn't really liked back then. It got a lot of criticism as it wasn't the all red costume and they didn't feel like Daredevil needed armor but it had a purpose in the comics as he was going against some heavy hitters and I quite like it to be fair. It has that 90s flair uh, and I do think it stands out amongst some of the other costumes we've had mainly just the blacks and the yellows and the reds where this one is a little bit more armored up so it makes sense we're getting a unmasked matt murdoch head as well and some interchangeable hands with his uh, batons as well but again this packaging is so nice gives me those 90s feel uh, i can't remember off the top of my head if this costume of daredevil appeared in the 90s show i'm sure daredevil did appear in the show i remember that but i'm not sure if he wore this costume but nevertheless they did release this figure in the early 90s as well that's why it is on this retro card now so again, I recommend buying two. One to keep, one to open. On the back of the card, you get a picture of all the other figures in this wave. The little gimmick that reminds us of that Toy Biz throwback card. And then you get a little write-up in case you didn't know who Daredevil was that says... Although he is blind, Matt Murdock possesses superhuman senses and courage as a superhero, Daredevil. Again, Daredevil is one of my favourites. And uh, yeah, this figure is looking very nice. So I'll compare him to some of the other releases and whatnot. But without further ado... Let's get him open. So here we have Daredevil out of the box and first impressions are quite high of this guy. I do think this is gonna be the sleeper hit of the wave. Just looks really nice. I like the costume design. It's an alternative look for Daredevil, which I appreciate for the shelf. So he does come with some nice accessories. We get a new sculpted uh, Matt Murdock head. It isn't just a reissue of a previous head, which I like. We're getting some interchangeable hands so we can hold his billy clubs. Now we've seen these billy clubs before. Uh, they're the same old ones, but you can see he doesn't have a harness. That is because his biddy clubs are actually attached to his sort of uh, wrist gauntlets, if you will. So you can have the wrist gauntlets with the billy clubs attached, and they even give you some uh, wrist cuffs without the billy clubs attached for when he is holding them so you can have both looks which i like i like the outfit colors as well the black with that sort of candy red chrome really nice so without further ado let's zoom in and have a look and i'll check out all these interchangeable pieces as well so here's a close look and as you can see daredevil's got that traditional mask on with the little points and i like the red eyes as well nice touch and you can see these shoulder pads there they're a bit gappy. That is because you can actually still get the arms all the way up to 90. Well, nearly 90. The plastic pushes it down a little bit. But they have tried uh, to sort of get the uh, shoulder pieces to move with the articulation, which is a nice touch. Uh, again, there's a waist joint, so it's decent. And it does seem like a whole new sculpted body, to be fair. I don't remember any other figure having these sculpted details. Again, I like the sort of metallic -y candy red chrome. Really nice. All the way down to the boots as well. It's on the knees and shins. You've got some silver. Um, yeah, liking it a lot. Um, I don't understand why the people of the 90s did not like this. So this, as I said, people of the 90s, in 93, in Daredevil issue 321, is when we first seen this outfit. And I said he only had it for a little bit, but it did last two years. It wasn't until 95, in Daredevil 345, uh, where he actually went back to his more traditional, iconic, all-red outfit. And the actual cover of that comic he's holding this outfit but in tatters as he sort of retires it and I'm not sure he's wore it ever since but you can see how the Shadowland sort of armor uh, outfit takes inspiration from the black and the reds of this one uh, but yeah this is very nice so again whole new body by the seam of it well not whole new body but definitely new sculpted parts so he comes packed with two fisted hands on as you need daredevil pinching and then these gauntlet pieces which i've already shown off so these gauntlet pieces have the biddy clubs attached but he does have interchangeable hands which we see here so we can hold the billy, uh, billy clubs. So we're going to swap them on, swap out these pieces as well, these cuff pieces, so we can see the alternative look for Daredevil. 
So there you go, there's the swap. He is now holding his billy clubs with the alternative hands. And again, we've seen these billy clubs before, they do attach, but instead of the harness, we have these interchangeable pieces. So now you can make it look like they're attached to his cuffs, or if you prefer, you can just have the silver cuffs on. You don't even have to have him holding his billy clubs. It's completely up to you what look you want him to have. But you do have options, and I always appreciate that. So here we have the Matt Murdock head. And I really like this one. Uh, it's different sculpt to the previous one, so we do have some options. Some people may want to use this as Scott Summers if you want to, but I don't think Scott Summers had red hair. Uh, but it has got the red glasses, and he's still got the red eyebrows as well. But yeah, this one is looking nice, to be fair. So here we have our Daredevil comparison. I believe this is the Amazon exclusive Defenders 4-pack version. And obviously, this is the black Shadowland version. I actually like the boots and the wrist wrap on this one. It just has a more of a sort of... Uh, gritty look and um, but you can see how this middle one is an amalgamation of the two in regards to colors but it's definitely more armored up um as i said he goes against some heavy hitters in the 90s and he needed some armor and um, so it's not a bad thing at all i like the looks uh, you can sort of see the sort of evolution of daredevil and everyone's going to have their favorites of course and um, but i think obviously that all red is still going to be the most iconic look for daredevil here we have Daredevil compared to Elektra, and since Hasbro hasn't given us any uh, hand ninjas yet, here's an articulated icon which scale perfectly with Marvel Legends. Here we have Daredevil compared to some other figures we've been looking at recently. There's the Mary Jane head on the old Mary Jane body, Gwen Stacy of course, Peter Parker, and then the retro Spider-Man. So moving her out of the way, this wave so far is looking great. And in case you're wondering, yes, the Matt Murdock head does pop onto this Peter Parker body, no problem at all. So if you wanted a street clave uh, Matt Murdock, then this isn't a bad shout. So final thoughts, I think any Daredevil fan is gonna be happy with this one, especially if you're a fan of this particular costume from the 90s. Uh, I just think it's a nice alternative look for Daredevil. I like how they've sculpted new parts for it and it's not just a repainted Bucky Cat body or something. I like the paints as well. Overall, solid. They've given us enough accessories as well to switch up the display, an unmasked Matt Murdock head. Bravo Hasbro, I like this one a lot. So you let me know what you think in the comments below as always. Are you gonna try and get this Daredevil? I know some people may be skipping this one, but I do think it's the sleeper hit of the wave so far. This one I didn't really associate with the Spider-Man retro series, but I'm quite happy that I've got it in hand now. So yeah, let me know in the comments. But as always, you know what to do. Continue watching these reviews with me. Check out the videos tab, the playlist, but most importantly, please, 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 hit that subscribe button. And if you're in a position to support the channel that little bit more, then I do have a Patreon links in the description below. But until next time, people, my name is Dan W and I will, of course, see you on the next one.